Hey guys, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have some project shares for Scrap Diva Designs. These are projects made with the dies that were released in December. Um, I will have all of the uh, die sets linked down below in the description box. Also, my referral link is down there. If you click on that and place an order, I get a commission, which really helps me and my channel out. Doesn't affect your cost. So thank you so much to everybody who uses that. I really appreciate it. I always get an email when it's used. It doesn't say who or anything, but um, I really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Plus, there is a uh, discount code, which is strawberry cream. If you use that at checkout, you'll get 10% off of your order. So don't forget to use that too. All right, you guys, I've got a few uh, super cute 3D projects to share with you. Thank you for taking time out of your busy December. I'm sure everybody's busy this time of year. Uh, hopefully you get some time into craft. That's what I do to keep sane at this time of year. So anyway, let's get started with the first die set. And this one is called the 3D Chocolate Gift Box. This is a great set because you can use it for chocolates, but you could use it for other treats as well. So it comes with the main die, die, which is this one, and you cut this out twice to create the box. Um, it also comes with two side pieces. This one here cuts out a side that has a flap on it, and the other one cuts out just a side that has gussets. So you can use um, both of those or, you know, to use this one twice or this one twice, I used um, one each. And then it comes with the words sweet and treat, which have shadows as well. I did use that in one of the boxes. And the main die piece also has a few layers. It comes with um, this one here, which cuts out a, a large rectangle, which is stitched on the sides. And then it also has a stitched part for the, for like the uh, spine, I guess, or the side of the box. And then it comes with, let me just bring this up, um, like a eyelet piece, which I did leave some little pieces in, and that cuts out a frame eyelet and it's scalloped as well and then it cuts out an inside rectangle piece too so you can create a shaker if you want to a window i created a window in one of mine so it it, do, it does leave you lots of different options for how to decorate the front of your box and then the side pieces also come with layering pieces as well to you know um, add some texture and pattern and strength to your box as well um, I believe this is available for pre-order on scrapdivadesigns.com right now. So make sure you pre-order it if, um, you know, if you, if you want it, make sure you get it before it sells out again. Um, the last time I checked, which is right before I made this video, it was available for pre-order. So anyway, let's get started with the boxes and let me show you the first one I made. So this one I made with the window. And how cute is this, right? I added the, the word sweet treat onto the window. And this acetate, I love. It has like gingerbread and candy canes and stuff on it. This is a Mintopia acetate sheet I got from Frank Garcia a couple years ago. And I use it sparingly, but I thought it'd be perfect for this project. So I used um, a bunch of the different layers. I created a window by using the uh, small rectangle and cut that out of the two main piece or two layering pieces that I added on top. And then before I glued the whole box together, I, I glued it behind the window so you wouldn't see the edges of the acetate. And then I added a poinsettia. This is also from Scrap Diva Design's new release. This is the poinsettia flower set or it comes from the poinsettia flower set. I've shown that before. And the papers I used, they are from, well, this a uh, candy one is from Doodlebug. And then I used like a shimmery teal paper for the eyelet piece and for the shadow. And I used white glitter for a sweet treat. And then for the layering pieces, I also used that teal shimmery paper. That's from Michaels. I used that all the way around. And then on the back, I used that Doodlebug paper. And see, this is where I used the flap on one end of the box. And on the other end, I just used the, the regular piece here. So you could do, you know, both ways or either or. And then on the inside of the flap, I added a tiny pink Velcro dot just to keep it closed. Um, you know, there are different ways you can to close it, but I, I like the Velcro dot because you can open it and, you know, close it again. So it fits uh, a nice amount of things in there. Of course, I'm pretty sure it's designed for a candy bar. So 
I didn't actually have a, a full-size candy bar to put in here, but like a regular Hershey bar, you know, that kind of size candy bar would fit. Let me give you some measurements here. This, the box itself is about six and a half inches from, um, well, lengthwise, and then top to bottom, it's about two and a half inches, and then depth-wise, it's about a half an inch. So two, uh, short or not deep enough for like Hershey Kisses or anything, but a nice flat treat would be good. And I added some little felties. I thought those would be a perfect little sweet treat for a crafty friend. There is some gingerbread in there and some Santas. And I just love having the window there so you could see how pretty they are on the inside. So that's the first one I made. I just love it. I think it's such a fun treat box and it's reusable too. You know, whoever I give this to will be able to keep this for, you know, to re-gift or just to keep on display. So that's my first one. And the second one, I made one that does not have a window just to give you another option. How cute is this, right? This paper here that I made it out of is a new one I just got from Joann's. Well, new to me, it's from Basil and it has hearts all over it. So. I thought it was Christmassy, but also kind of suggests Valentine's Day as well. So I used the different layering pieces for the for the um, front of the box. I didn't use the giant rectangle because I wanted you be, to be able to see the sort of the hearts on the, the main box. And then I used some gingerbread paper. This comes from scrapbook.com in one of their new gingerbread paper pads. And then Peppermints comes from a Scrap Diva design set as well. I believe this one comes from the um, the new, uh, well, it's one of the Christmas word sets. I'll link it down below. I, I forget which one off the top of my head, but uh, I thought Peppermints fit perfectly here. And I put Peppermint clay bits all over the, the front of the box as well. And I used one for a dot on the eye. So this is what it looks like if you don't add a window and I also did not add layering pieces on the sides of the box. I just wanted you to be able to see the hearts all around it. I did add one on the flap because I thought that was a cute little touch and you could see the two gingerbread people there. So how cute is this, right? And again, I added a um, Velcro dot and to suggest, well, since the front says peppermints, I added some um, Andy's candies on the inside. I just put them in a gingerbread cellophane bag and just taped it together so it would fit into the box. It also would fit like candy canes. I have one candy cane here, so I figured I would just show you. It fits perfectly in there. These are just the kind from Target, you know, generic candy canes. So yeah, it fits uh, a lot of fun little things, whatever you want to put in here, reasonably flat treat. And yeah, I think these came out super cute. So those are my first projects. Let's go on to the next one. The next one is called, well, the next die set I used is called the 3D House Gift Box. And there are so many cute examples of this on ScrapDivaDesigns.com uh, Scrap and also on her Instagram page. So make sure you check it out. But um, this one, you make like a little gift box in the shape of a house. So these are the dies that the main set comes with. And then there's an add-on set as well. This one is called the 3D House Gift Box Add-on Set. And this one makes it more into like a gingerbread house or a wintry house. It gives you like a snowy roof line. It gives you a different shaped door, different windows. And then these are really cute. I didn't use these, well, not in the way that they're intended, but these make like snowy layers on your roof. Oh, so cute the way uh, some people have put that together. And then it comes with like the icing trim you can add. It comes with lollipops and peppermints and these cute little like heart um, uh, designs that you can add to make it look like a gingerbread house or even like a Valentine house would be cute. And then it comes with like the light strands and um, gumdrops, more candies. So it's fun. If you can, I would pick this up if you're getting the, uh, the, the house set. So this is the main die and this cuts um, the front and the back of the house and then cuts the handle too, which is, you know, how you hold it to make it into a gift box. This cuts the side out of the box. So you cut two of those as well. And then these are all the glue tabs that you would glue them all together. And then this part here is the roof and it cuts a slit out here. So you put it over the, the house and then it kind of holds everything together. And then it comes with the layering pieces for the handles. It comes with the 
uh, like a porthole window, and then this you could use as either a door or a window. I actually used it. Did I use that one? No, I don't think I did. I didn't use that one. I used more of the add-on um, sets. Oh, this is the one I used. This comes with the main set too. This comes. This is a window that cuts out the the back piece and then the like window frame. These are layering pieces for the side of the house, and this is a layering piece for the roof. So let me show you what I made. And I didn't make mine into a gift box. I wanted to uh, see if I could make something a little bit different. Um, if you've been following me a while, you know that I used to make, I just haven't made one in a while, although I'd love to make them, um, tissue boxes. So I make them for different holidays. So I thought I would make a little one out of this house. So this is smaller than a, you know, than a regular tissue box size. So you would have to take a, you know, a bunch of tissues out and put them into the box. I'll show you how I did that in a second. But look how cute this is. Um, like I said, I used a lot of the add-on set, but I used a lot of the main set as well. And I used Doodlebug, mostly Candy Cane Lane for the for the papers here. So I used the um, add-on door set here. I added yellow behind the windows to make it look like the lights were on. And I added the, the little lollipops that come in the add-on sets. I added some like uh, puppy stickers from Doodlebug as well as on the window there. And then on the main roof, I added some of the, um, well, I added the snow layering piece or icing. I cut it out of white glitter paper so it would look like snow. And then I added the light strands. I cut that out of some matte silver paper. And then I used enamel dots for the, for the lights themselves. It does come with, a die that you can cut out the lights if you want to. I just wanted to use enamel dots since I had those. And then I used a peppermint uh, sticker on the top. And yeah, that's the front. And then on the side, see that's where I used, this is the like roof layering piece to make it look like snow, but I just turned it upside down and put it on the side to make to make it look like there is snow on the ground. And then I used a um, Merry Christmas piece of ephemera and on the roof itself, I used some snowflakes ephemera, more doodlebug paper. On the back here, I did another roof line of snow. I added some stickles to make it look a little snowy and shiny as well. This is a, a cut apart on the back. And then on this side, it looks like the other side, but it just says tis the season instead. And then I added a doodle pop on the top. I thought that was cute. Looks like Santa coming out of the chimney. And I added stickles all around in diamond. So yeah, that's my cute little house. Let me measure this before I take the top off to show you how I did the tissues. So from top to bottom, this is about four and uh, seven eighths. And then side to side at the widest point, it's about four and a quarter. And then depth wise, it is, let's see, give you a pretty accurate, um, it's about three and three eighths, I would say. So a nice size for a little gift box. And if you did, what I did was I cut the handles off and I'll show you that in a second so I could fit the tissue through that. And then, okay, so let me just take this off so you can see. So this is the roof part. And I did cut the slit out a little bit more um, than, it, than cuts out with the die, just so I could fit the tissue through there. But this is what the gift box looks like. And typically, if you didn't cut them off, the handles would be here. So you would just thread those through the roof and that holds it together. But I cut mine off and then kind of um, cut out like a little dip here so the tissues would fit through also. So the gift box opens like this. You don't seal or you don't glue the um, those top glue flaps or glue tabs. So whoever opens this can get inside to get the gift or you know you could put tissues in here. So I just took a um, like a bunch of tissues out of a of a cube tissue box that I have in my craft room and just stuffed it in here and pulled one out the top and that way they you know pull out individually. But this is the inside of the gift box in case you want to use it as an actual gift box <laughs> the way it's intended. So it's it's a really nice size box. Um, let me see what would fit in here. I have some of the little gingerbread glass bottles here. So let's see. Yeah, like two of those would fit perfectly, maybe even more. No, probably two would be good if you put a little bit of like shred in there to keep them 
um, you know, from banging into each other. But just to give you an idea of how big this, this box is. So it's a really nice size. You don't need to use it for Christmas gifts. You know, you can make like a housewarming gift in here, um, make a little tissue box for your desk or for somebody's desk. I think that would be really cute. You know, it doesn't hold a whole ton of tissues, but um, I think it's just, you know, a cute little accent for a holiday desk or table or, you know, somewhere where you need to put tissues, but you don't necessarily want to say like a, you know, a big old tissue box. This makes it a little bit decorative. You could put in your um, powder room or something like that. So that is my next project and that's it for today. I hope you like these 3D projects. I had a lot of fun making them. I always say that, but I always do. They're just really fun to take some time out for yourself and get some crafts done and at the same time make things that you can gift. So um, yeah, it's a win-win. Anyway, again, my referral link will be down below as well as my coupon code, strawberry cream, and all of the links to the uh, dyes that I used will be there as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Until then, I hope you have a great day. Bye everybody.